Greetings everybody, this is Domingo with you today. Hope you're doing fantastic and today we're going to be reviewing ACDC Gemstone 12. This is a Photoshop sort of, sort of tool and it is a photo manipulation tool. So when you open up the program for the first time, you are greeted with this. This is basically the uh, template starter. So it allows you to create a new file with presets. So we're just going to go and select YouTube thumbnail. And we selected 1920 by 1080 as our pixels. There's the folder that we can save it in. Units, resolution, color mode, and background. We're just going to make it a white background. And then we are going to go and create. Uh, we are just going to go cancel. Let's just title the project test for video. And then we're going to go create. Okay. So here we have our project. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the navigator here on the bottom right. And then we're just going to zoom it out here. You can also adjust your windows however you like here. So that way everything fits within your toolbox. So we have our blank background here with our resolution set here. So we're just going to go and import our photos. So we're just going to go file and open. And then we're just going to pick a picture from the list here. Let's just pick this. So this is a picture of my old bookcase in my old room with everything that you see here. So this is all my PlayStation 2 games, Bible, soda cup, tumbler, lightsaber, snorkel, men's health magazines, guitar amp, everything. This is my old room in my parents' house. So I'm just going to use this as an example because it was just the first thing that I could see. So here are your tools your move tool where it highlights and selects your picture already where you can rotate it 360 like that and then you can resize using the points here like this look at that and then there's also your crop tool where it crops out where it allows you to crop your photo and then you can move the picture to crop a certain point like this. So we're just going to cancel that. Zoom it out again. So this is a full size photo. And then there is also your rectangular selection tool where you can select the rectangle like this. And then you can add or minus or you can just preview the mask. There we go. And then there's your lasso tool. We're just going to go select, deselect. Then there's your lasso tool where you can just lasso certain things and it automatically connects. So then you can use the move tool to cut it like that. Oh man, look at that. That's crazy. So you're just going to go here. We're just going to put it back properly. Like a puzzle, like a jigsaw puzzle. There we go. So we're just going to select and deselect. It's like it never got cut. Wow, amazing sauce. Okay, so now we have the brush selection where you can use the brush to select. And that's really nice. Oh, that's amazing. So there's your brush preferences. There's smart brushing. So you can go off color, brightness, or magic. Magic? Oh, that's magic. Look at that magic. Magic brush. Wow, that's pretty cool. So we're just going to undo all, undoing, and then you can set the tolerance, and then there's something else there, and then there's also your color picker, where you can pick your color, and it gets selected right here, and then you can switch the colors with the swap colors, and then we're going to select red, there we go, and then there's your brush tool, so you can select your brush, and then So you can just go with a fade, and you can also go with PCD, whatever you want to do. Then there's your paint bucket tool, Ugh, splatter. And then there's the gradient tool, center gradient like this. And you can flip the gradient, really nice. And you can also adjust how much gradient there is, either a little or a lot. And you can do it right from here, which is really nice. And then this is what's called your rectangle tool with your colors like this so you can do however you like play around with it there's your text tool I'm just gonna go booyah 
Akasha. And then you can position it however you like here. So you can do a lot with this program. It's like Photoshop in every way. And then your good old eraser tool. We're going to rasterize the layer. So we're just going to do that. Select the layer, and then you can erase it wherever you like. If you don't like it, then just press Control Z. And then this is your Smart Erase Brush. So now that you've made your project look pretty cool here, there's some quick actions as well. You can remove background for quick actions. And it's just going to do that quickly. Okay, so once you've made all the changes you like and you want to import it, so you go File, and then you go Save As. And then the GSD format is the gemstone format for like uh, PSD. So we're going to just select here. Oh, you can save it as PSD so that you can import it to Photoshop as well. So we're going to select JPEG. And then we're just going to go acid.gh. So then we're just going to save it on our desktop here for now. And then we're going to flatten the layers and it saves. There we go. And then there. Okay, there we go. And there's our photo that we just recently did in JPEG format, 132 kilobytes, and those are the dimensions and that sort of thing. So what we're going to do is it'll open right up here. Boom, there it is. So we're just going to close that. And then that is it. That is how you make photos, use gradients, add text, and if there wasn't anything else I didn't explain, then feel free to leave in the comments below. I mean, this is a pretty straightforward tool. It's like Photoshop. If you know how to use Photoshop, then you can use this. So, there you go. That's my quick review about it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye for now.